There's so many people that think that the accent button on the iPhone 15 Pro is useless and that's because they've got something like this. Or they turn on the flashlight which is fine but not really that useful. What if I showed you how to do this? So, Dama. Now look, if you go in your accent button settings, you can toggle within focus mode, a camera, so whenever you open, the camera will pop up, the flashlight, the translate feature is actually new as well, so if you hold the accent button, it will start translating from English to Spanish, which is pretty useful as well. Now all of these are pretty cool, but for you to take the full potential of the Dynamic Island, I highly recommend to use shortcuts. Now, I personally program my shortcuts within an action button shortcut that I personally made, but I'll be showing you how to do it. And trust me, it's super simple. So whenever I press the action button, it will actually show me the, the actions that I actually use the most on my iPhone. Mute my iPhone, log a coffee, instead of me going inside of my high coffee app, tapping, okay, I just drank a cappuccino, logging that which can get annoying sometimes i just simply tap on log a coffee and it will run a shortcut that that my cappuccino has now been locked within the high coffee app i can actually call chenya i can call my girlfriend directly from the shortcut as well i love shazam so if i want to recognize a song i can simply do that within the action button as well i've also got a home automation that whenever i tap leaving home all of the lights of all of my home will turn off so whenever I leave, I tap the accent button, tap leaving home, and all the lights turn on. I've also got a vacuum cleaner, so I can tap this, and my it will actually start cleaning my home and clean the kitchen. So I only want the kitchen to be clean. Now, all of this is possible thanks to the Shortcuts app. So let me show you how you can actually do this yourself. Trust me, it looks a little bit complicated, but it's definitely not. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new shortcut. Let's go ahead and put a name to it. We can rename it. So let's put action button. Let's put an emoji there. You can also change the icon for the shortcut because as you can see, let's put an iPhone here because whenever I tap here, as you can see a little icon pops up. So you can actually customize that icon right there. You can change the color for the icon as well. You can make it pink, yellow. Let's go ahead and make it yellow for the purpose of this video. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is add an action. And what we want is a menu to pop up. So let's just search up menu and then tap on choose from menu. And as you can see, one and two prompts automatically showed up. So we can add a new item, add a new item. And what you're gonna do here is actually name what you want the things to do. All right, so let's put the first one to silence. Second one, you can actually do it to call your wife, for example. You can do this one for to clean my home. Once again, I'm customizing this to my needs, but just think about what you would want an action button to do and you can basically list them now. Right now, we're only naming the actions. Don't worry, it doesn't get too complex. I'm gonna do log a uh, coffee, boom. I'm gonna Shazam a song as well. Okay, I think for the purpose of this video, that's enough. So how do we silence? We basically just type in silent mode, okay? As you can see, we now have the actual action and we're actually gonna put it right inside of silence mode. So you basically grab your action and put it under your name. So as you can see, turn silent mode on is inside of the silence name. Let's do call wife now. So you simply put call and you can basically grab whoever you wanna call. You grab this and you put it inside of the call wife action. Now clean my home is a little bit more complex because you actually have to run a shortcut for your shortcut. So you basically search up run shortcut as you can see, you put it inside of here and then you got to tell, okay, what shortcut? So you basically tap inside of shortcut and then over here, you've got a bunch of shortcuts. So for example, the start cleaning shortcut in my smart home is basically my robot vacuum. Now, for example, my coffee tracker, I've there's actually a bunch of apps. So you can actually go through this for inspiration, for example. Um, High Coffee actually has one, two, log a coffee and you can actually tell it um, whichever one you want. So I'm actually go just going to do that right here. If you want Shazam, for example, 
recognize music, you put it inside of Shazam. If you wanna add more, you simply tap on add new item, or if you wanna remove one, you can simply remove it just like that. And don't forget, if you want a little bit of inspiration, there's a bunch of categories, so you can actually read current book, or you can open the camera, or a lot of people actually use this to replace Siri with ChatGPT. You can set a timer, you can play music, you can recognize, you can open up notes, numbers, call someone, listen to a podcast, the list goes on. If you even want more inspiration, jump over to your apps and maybe you can get inspired from there to do. That's what I do it for. So once you're actually done, it's as simple as simply tapping on done and then jumping over to settings once again, going over to action button, tap this right here where you can actually select a shortcut that you've actually created. And as you can see, we've now programmed action button shortcut that we've now created within the shortcuts app. And then it's as easy as simply tapping on the action button and there you go. All of the options that you've now done, including the app icon that we personalized, silence, clean wife, etc. the list goes on. So that's how I have the action button set up on my iPhone. I think it's pretty cool, but most importantly, really useful. And I've personalized it to my personal needs. I hope this tutorial was super easy to understand. If you wanna know how to make the dynamic island really useful, guess what you can do. I mean, I just showed you how to make the action button really useful. Now it's time for the dynamic island. I mean, take the full potential of it. It's pretty cool and, and really useful as well. Only if you know how to use it. So if you want to master it, you know what to do. Come on.